This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this video in particular. But let me give you an update on a channel called Sports City. Yes, Sports City. It is a channel dedicated to everything related to Jamaican sports. Football, cricket, athletics, netball, rugby league, rugby union, tennis, lacrosse, swimming, you name it, we got it on Sports City. And what is the channel designed to do? It is designed to highlight Jamaican talents across all of those sporting disciplines. If you're a Jamaican and you're playing that sport, and we got you covered on Sport City. So it's quite simple, guys. Hit the subscribe button to Sport City right now. Yes, Reggae Boys commentary, like and subscribe, yeah? Oh. Reggae Boys commentary, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Reggae Boys commentary, <laughs> subscribe, like, and share. Is that the right order? Sixty minutes away. Sixty minutes away from the start of the round of sixteen for the young reggae boys. Four years ago, the round of sixteen hurdle was a bit too high, but now four years later, it's a hurdle that they'll be looking to overcome. Jamaica have been in the thorn of the, of the Guatemalan flesh for years and years and years. Nineteen ninety one, two thousand three, twenty eleven. Never ever has Jamaica lost to Guatemala in an under-17 championship for men. It's a new challenge this evening for many, many reasons. One in particular is the sea of blue and white in Guatemala City as the young reggae boys enter a stadium which will have its 12th man. Not only will they have their 12th man, but... They'll also be oozing with confidence, especially after their lacrosse team, lacrosse-like scoring of 8-3 to three over Curacao. 8-3 to three in a football match, you don't see that quite often. You would see that in lacrosse, hockey, but not in football. A new challenge awaits the young reggae boys this evening. The starting 11 is on its way very, very soon. And by starting this video, it's also the start of a very, very busy evening that lies ahead. And why would you say that? Well, quite simply, folks, not only do the under-17 reggae boys play this evening, but also the senior reggae girls take on Czech Republic for the first time ever, ever, at the senior level. A new challenge, a new test. A grand, grand, grand opportunity awaits. The path is quite simple, folks. Win or you're home. Just like that. It's either you win or you go home. The last time that Jamaica went to the quarterfinals of a CONCACAF Under-17 Championship? 2013. Ten years ago. Ten years ago was the last time that Jamaica 
went to the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. In 2015, the, for the tournament changed in terms of its format, and while Jamaica did progress beyond the group stages of the competition, the second round group stage, it was a penalty shootout that stopped that passage. 2017, it was a group stage exit as the format changed yet again, falling to the United States, beating El Salvador, but losing to Mexico. 2019, Jamaica huffed and puffed, but their only win came against Bermuda. And Jamaica went to the round of 16 against El Salvador and fell 2-1. But now, four years later, different, different crop of players, quite naturally, because this is an age group tournament. So, folks, what do you see here? Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night where Jamaica is either one step closer to Peru or a phone call away from booking their flight to the Norman Manley International Airport. We don't want that passage to end tonight. We do not want our winning streak against Guatemala to end tonight. Far from it. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Six, all six of Jamaica's goals have come after the 78th minute of the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. All six of them. What does that tell you? Well, certainly room for improvement and areas to build upon as well. However, Jamaica is finding the back of the net something we did not see in great abundance on the island. However, Jamaica has scored seven goals in three games at an average of just a shade over two goals per game. And I'm telling you, if Jamaica puts three in the back of the net this evening, they will be going on to face the United States later in the championship. Hello, everyone. I'm Simon Preston. And welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I had an early meal today, so I'm not hungry. I drink water, and I will get water as well. But now it's a different, different different, different, different scenario. I hope you guys are ready because this is a really, really, really massive encounter. The starting 11s are coming your way quite soon. And we'll talk about what the United States did to the Dominican Republic as well. But before we do all of that, let's get straight into the comments. All right, guys, let's get straight into the comments. Cool. What time is the Reggae Girls match? 10.50 p.m. Jamaica time. That's 10.50 p.m. Jamaica time. Up, oh, Simon, looking to see the boys later. Absolutely. Truly, truly looking forward to it. The Under-17, the Under-17, you can watch it on Conga Cups YouTube channel. Mario Russell, Bus of Simon, I wish the team all the best, both Under-17 and senior women. That's of Simon. It's been a good day. <clears throat> Arsenal. Really? I mean, Newcastle had one job. One job, but it's okay. <clears throat> it's okay. Looking forward to the young Reggae boys lighting it up. Hmm. Like up the show, Reggae boys family. Support the movement. Hit the like button, guys. Smash the like button. All right? Smash the like button right now. After that, hit the subscribe button. We are at a crucial stage, a very, very crucial stage of the competition. Well, Mexico and the United States, they're off to wins. But by what margin? And what does this mean as well? <laughs> well, I'll tell you exactly what it means. I'll tell you exactly what it means. Because 
this is imperative. <clears throat> Alex Xavier Gooden got a red card, so he would not be available for this evening's encounter. He got a red card. However, Nishan Bolt Barrett, he will be available for this encounter. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what Mario Russell is saying. Mario, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Are you guys ready? Because the starting 11 is out. So, guys, you ready? You guys are ready. Well, here we go. Joshua Grant maintains his place within the squad. I repeat, Joshua Grant maintains his place within the squad. Are you guys ready? So, so in goal, Joshua Grant. <clears throat> right back, Malachi Molina. Central defense, Malik Robinson. Also central defense, the captain, Ahir Dixon. Back into the 11, it's Adrian Reed. Back into the 11, also it's Bolt Barrett coming back from his yellow card. Jordan Mangatal, also within the mix as well. Alongside him, it is Ronaldo Barrett. And the front three folks of Jamani Bell, Orian Watson, and getting his first start of the tournament is, well, <laughs> Ashton Gordon. Well, Ashton Gordon did start against Costa Rica. Gordon gets a start this evening. So I, I got 10 out of 11 right in terms of the, the names. Only Lynch, I expected to go back in the net, but Grant gets the nod. And I have a, f I have a feeling, I have a, a funny feeling why Grant starts this evening because if you look at the penalty shootout that he had against Trinidad and Tobago at St. Elizabeth Technical, the two saves that he made was quite assured. And of course, we're at the stage of the competition where penalty shootouts are a massive, massive difference. Massive, massive difference. So that's the stage that we are right now in the competition, you know? So it's it's key. It's important. So, so that's something that we can bear in mind, all right? So once again, the 11 for the game. In goal, Joshua Grant. At right back, it is Malachi Molina. At central defense, it is Malik Robinson. Captain is I hear Dixon playing central defense. Alongside him, it is Adrian Reed Jr. And you guys know as well who is back in the squad. And when I mean back in the squad, I mean like the team itself. Well, Nashon Bolt. Pirates. In front of them, Jordan Mangatal. And with him, Ronaldo Barrett. In front of them, Rain Watson. Jamani Bell. And Ashton Gordon. So, yep. Yeah. So here we go, folks. That's the starting 11, and we're ready to go. We're absolutely ready. This is critical. This is crucial. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night where everything falls into place. It 
So let's get right to it. The 11, I like it. You know, if, for an example, if the red card wasn't given to Gooden, who scored Jamaica's first goal, personally, I feel like he would have started over Malik Robinson had he not gotten that red card. Oh, my family, uh, we're trying to put the pieces together, you know, you know, I'm... Um, it's, I only have one sibling on the island and my rest of the siblings are off the island so it's just me and my sibling that is on the island running up and down putting everything together you know for the funeral and everything and you know sorting out programs and stuff like that you know what I mean so it's been hectic but I'm doing okay so but I'm doing alright for the most part Jaden Thompson says up up alright Mangatal has played every game of the tournament. Ronaldo in the midfield, a good option with Mangatal there. And in front of them, the front three of Watson, who basically from the first game against Trinidad and Tobago two weeks ago, said, said yeah, me should start. And that's exactly what he did. So, yeah, Jaden, I think that Dylan will get an opportunity in the second half, depending on circumstances, of course. So, something that we'll bear in mind for the situation, you know? But yeah, that's 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 where we are right now. And of course, Jamani Bell was it has to play every minute. So, Jamani Bell not only has to play 90 minutes, but he has to be prepared to take a penalty. That's how I feel. And I'm not sure if I gave a prediction for the game oh, yeah i think i did yeah i gave a prediction but you know the reality is that i think this fixture could could go down to the wire and that is something that i think could could really really happen something that we can <clears throat> look out for you know so something to bear in mind so what you're going to see right now folks if you guys haven't already smash the like button so smash a like button and smash a subscribe button. All right, folks. And we'll see also a poll as well. All right. So go ahead and pull. Jamaica wins in 90 minutes. Penalties. So. All right, guys, go ahead and vote within the, the poll right now. Go ahead and vote within the poll. Let's see what you guys have to say there. Colin said, Simon, but if we get past Guatemala, we'll definitely. Well, look here, Colin. The reality of the situation is that football is not played on paper. And I know that the United States are a amazingly superior opposition, amazing team in this tournament compared to the teams that they have faced. That is what I mean, because you look at the results that they've had so far against Barbados and against Canada and against Trinidad and against Dominican Republic. In a sense, Jamaica will be their first real test. You know, I'm just being absolutely frank about it. Barbados gave them, were, were, were robust at the back for 20 minutes and then 25 minutes, the floodgates opened. They took on Trinidad and Tobago and they were able to open the floodgates from the 11th minute. And when they took on Canada, the first half, okay. Canada put up a little bit of resistance, but the second half, the breakthrough came. And against the Dominican Republic today, <laughs> it was, you could say, a seven-star performance. And the United States are in seventh heaven by the, the result that they had today. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to get the result in a quarterfinals. How many thought that, oh, Guadeloupe lost 2-1 to Costa Rica? They beat Jamaica 2-1, so that means that Guadeloupe should beat Cuba. And Cuba went and beat them by a convincing margin. You see what I'm saying? Cuba beat Guadeloupe by a bigger margin than Costa Rica beat Guadeloupe by. So football, my friends, are not played on paper. Yeah, Star Boys, it was my grandmother. My grandmother passed on Monday. On Monday. So that's the reason why you didn't see my usual three videos on Monday that you normally see that I get that I do guys three videos or four videos a day you normally see me do so yeah my grandmother passed on Monday 
she was a hundred years old and she was basically the last of the the descendants of the Spanish surviving on the island, you know. Right now it's just in terms of descendants from from Europe is just English descendants and the Germans, of course, and there's probably two Portuguese or three Portuguese left, but my grandmother was born Lopez, so she's one of the last Spanish descendants that, that were here on the island, you know, from the, the Spaniards that left in 1655, you know, so the fourth generation of those Spanish. Yeah, man, the perspective is really, really appreciated. So, yeah, just been up and down, up and down planning, you know, in terms of getting programs and setting the dates and everything of that nature, you know. Um, she was 100, you know, so she did very well. And when people always ask her, what's her secret? Because she was wearing heels in her 90s, you know. Her secret is dark chocolate in terms of what to eat. So her, she kept very, yeah, dark chocolate was her secret every week. Every week. So that was her secret. And she did she did regular stretches, you know. When she wake up in the morning, she does stretches. So that was something that was a key component to her in particular. But yeah, guys, yeah, man. The right under seventeen reggae boys or the reggae girls. The under seventeen reggae boys will be Concacuff's YouTube channel. Concacuff's YouTube channel called Under Seventeen Reggae Boys. In word and whispers progress in Europe. So. He is doing very well as it relates to if there will be a two, an extension to his trial. I'm not sure about it just yet. Not sure about it just yet. But once I get more information, I'll let you know. Omar Fallen says, Simon, let's bet some money. You're basically going to beat up. I tell you what, Omar, put that money in the super chat and then we'll talk. All right? Put that money in the super chat and then we'll talk. How does that sound? And we'll talk about some scoops and stuff. And for the information that you guys are aware about, my condolences to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, absolutely. Very, very much, Nitro. Very, 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 very much. It's not working in Jamaica. Well, there's two options. One, you download the ESPN app. And after you download the ESPN app, you go to ESPN Play and you should see the game. If that doesn't work, then you'd have to download a VPN. Vinnie Congo says she played a good inning, Simon 100. Yeah, she would be, have been 101 in November, but yeah, did very, very well, I'm telling you. And her focal senses was intact. And up till she was 99 and a half, she remembered me very, very well. And <laughs> everything of that nature. So her brain was intact, very, very much so, you know. I'm oh, sorry, but let's keep pushing. I'm sure she would love for you to keep up the good work and keep making her proud. My grandma wants to live. Wow, 96. That is amazing, Star Boys. I wonder what it is that our, you know, our our grandparents did that. You know, we don't see it happening nowadays, you know. And what makes Jamaica so special? Because Jamaica is one of the highest life expectancies in the world, you know. The average life expectancy in Jamaica is higher than the life expectancy in a lot of countries, you know. Is it what we eat? Is it is it the the sunshine? You know, I'm curious to, to know about that in particular. But Star Boys, that's amazing. That is simply amazing. Wow, 96 and going well. Simply, simply amazing. So yeah, guys, do do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's hear what you you have to say. Let's let's hear what you have to say in relation to the game this evening. You know? So that's something for us to bear in mind, you know. So we are just a shade over half an hour until kickoff. Just a shade over half an hour until kickoff. So a very, very, very good 11. Uh, 
again. The under 17 starting 11. Rasha Grant, Malachi Molina, Malik Robinson, Ahir Dixon, Adrian Reed Jr., Asham Bolt Barrett, Jordan Mangatal, Ronaldo Barrett, Orion Watson, Jemani Bell, and Ashton Gordon. That's the starting 11 for the Jamaicans. So that's where we are. Amari McCollum Simon, what's the formation Jamaica's using? All right, let me do that for you. But it's going to be a 3-4-3 a three, three formation. Some people think it's a 4-4-2, but no, a 4-3-3. Three, three. And I'll show you. Give me a moment. Let me just bring up the tactical element to show you guys. Can you see? All right, good stuff, good stuff. So as you guys know, yesterday was the preview that I did, right? And this was the team that I selected for the game. Right, this was the team that I selected for the game in particular, and in terms of the eleven, the only person that I got wrong from the eleven was a goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper is Joshua Grant. Apart from that, apart from that, everything else of that spot on in terms of the eleven in particular. So, this is how the team will line up: three, four. Three. This is how the Jamaican team will line up. Three, four, three. In some instances, you can even say because in some occasions it looks like this. But from a defensive standpoint, this is how Jamaica looks. But when they collect the ball in their 3-4-3 three, three shape, basically what happens is this. When Bo Barrett pushes down, Adrian Reed goes across. Malachi Molino occupies the right-hand side. And but Bell gives support to, to Bennett, and of course, Gordon as well. So it looks like a 4-4-2. Four, four, when Gordon comes to the right, Watson come this way. So when Jamaica is in possession, it will look like a 4-4-2. Four, four, but out of possession, this is how Jamaica will look. Three, four, three. Thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, nineteen twenty-two. Yeah, man, for real here. She here in the states as well. Coming down in a couple of weeks. Okay, nice, nice, star boys. That's good, man. That's really, really good, man. Active up and down. You know, she can. It's good when they feel, you know, independent. You know, they can get up. They can go to the kitchen. They can wash two plates or cook something. Or you help them on the road, they feel like they go supermarket, you go pick up two items, you know. You make them feel, you know, like they have a purpose, you know. Where can you watch the Jamaica under 17 game? Concacuff's YouTube channel. You can watch the game on Concacuff's YouTube channel. All right, Concacuff's YouTube channel. That's where you can watch the game, Concacuff's YouTube channel. Concacuff's YouTube channel. Where can I watch the match? Oh. Concuff's YouTube channel. Hopefully that helps. That's where you can watch it, folks. That's where it can be watched. Concuff's YouTube channel. Yes, says we'll look to you. Big game. Damien, what's going on, man? You're in Chicago, okay? Illinois. All right, all right. All right. Knight Rider, how are you? Hope you're doing well, man. How's everything? So one adjustment here, folks. So it's not Lynch that is in the net, but it is. 
Joshua Grant. There we go. Joshua Grant. Good stuff, right? Matting. <laughs> so that, folks, is the Jamaican team for today. Just a reminder, the United States defeated Dominican Republic 7-0. Mexico defeated Nicaragua 6-0. So the United States are up and running, folks. They are going quite well. Tomorrow, Costa Rica plays Puerto Rico at 5 o'clock, while Honduras faces Bermuda at 5. At 8 o'clock, it's El Salvador, Trinidad, and Panama, Cuba. Cuba are still in the competition. <laughs> yeah. Canada versus Haiti is in the other 8 o'clock encounter today. You know? You know, so that's something for us to bear in mind. Something very, very important. <clears throat> the Jamaica will have that three, four, three shape. Guatemala. We'll have a four three three shape and three four three when defending. Yeah, man, no problem. True, true. She said the same thing to me today. As long as she's independent, she'll go. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And you say when they come home and thing, star boys, them sit down in the couch or them, them lay down for a nap. Yeah, man. So they just want to feel important. So. Give them little things to do, you know? Go through a photo album, little things like that, you know? Damon Williams, cold snow on the ground. Cold snow on the ground in Chicago. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Cold snow on the ground. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Look at that. Something to think about, yeah? Really important to think about. Echo Week says two wins away from a ticket to the World Cup. Yep, that's right. Two wins away. Yeah. I know people have been asking for links for the other game as well. So the things that man, but no first way. Big up. You're talking about the under 17 regular boys, Conquer Cups YouTube channel. Conquer Cups YouTube channel, folks. Like Eric says, how are you? No fun, Jamaica gonna win 2 0. Look, I, I spoke to the president of the Jamaica Lacrosse Association today, a good friend of mine, Calbert Hutchinson today. He's in Baker Lake. Baker Lake is in Nunavut in, in, in Canada, near the North Pole. And the road is just snow. I was like, whoa, that's so cool. Look, okay, Damien, I've experienced minus 20. The coolest I've experienced ever is minus 25. And that's fine with me. That's fine with me, minus 25. I'm cool with that. I say challenge accepted. If, if an opportunity goes to eat out of Kormi in, in Greenland or somewhere else, or Yakutia in Russia, minus 70, bring it on. Bring it on. 
Leon barely controlled the ball today. It was a touch of class. Leon barely baller. The game is not going on FS2. Where are you watching, Simon? I'm watching it on CONCACAF's YouTube channel. <clears throat> That's where I'm watching it. CONCACAF's YouTube channel. That's where I'm watching the game. What about you guys? Where are you guys watching the, the, the game for today? CONCACAF's YouTube channel? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. And as you guys know, at 10.50. <clears throat> so for the Reggae Girls, at 10.50, the game will be live on TVJ, TVJ Sports Network. And also Football Australia's YouTube channel. So those are other options to look at as well. So that's where we are. So do you, have you guys had your coffee? Have you guys had your tea? Have you guys had your energy drink? Do you guys have all the, the, the energy drinks that you need to stay up? Because it's going to be a very, very, very long night. We're going to be up until 1 o'clock in the morning, you know, guys. Because we have the under-17 reggae boys now. And, of course, we have the senior reggae girls coming up as well. So I hope you guys are ready because... That is important. Very, very important. Let's not forget, guys, that we're in a World Cup. Hmm. Spin. What going, bro? Hope you're doing good, man. Big up spin. Big up spin. Big up spin. Hope, you, hope you're doing good, man. Ray Girls games will be on TVJ and TVJ Sports Network. Mario Russell. I don't have the answer to that question in particular. But just like everything else in life, just like Alkaline says, everything in life just takes time. So that's the situation, folks. Everything in life just takes time. That's what Alkaline say. So... We're 25 minutes to go. That's right, 25 minutes to go until kickoff. Jamaica against Nicaragua. No, not Nicaragua, but Guatemala. The host nation at the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. So, Jamani Bell, something to look out for him is to whip in those crosses a little bit early. And if it does go to a penalty shootout, you know, there's a good record for teams that go first in a shootout. They have a good record of winning games. So that's something to bear in mind, you know? So let's see. Let's see if there's something that will happen, you know what I'm saying? So where can I watch in Philadelphia? You can watch it on CONCACAF's YouTube channel. Uh, did it a star boys. Check your WhatsApp. Yeah, man, star boys. Check your WhatsApp, Zine. Cool breeze. I'll just send you the link on WhatsApp and then let's go from there. So, all right, sent now. That's another option as well. You download the ESPN app. Yeah, man, check your, check your WhatsApp out. You can also download the ESPN app and go to ESPN Play, and that should give you all the, the information, you know? Okay, Mario. Okay, Mario. Eight seven six four two two seven eight seven six. If you didn't catch that, private message me on Instagram and we talk.
based on the available players. Uh, all right. Granting net. Available players, yeah, because I would have had Gooden over Malik Robinson. Right back is Molina. Walt Barrett has shown his worth on that left-hand side. Mangatal. Probably Mahoney alongside Mangatal. Uh, but there, there's a, a conversation there. But the front three, yeah. As Ian Campbell says, all the best to the regular boys, you know. <clears throat> Definitely something worth looking at, you know. So it's definitely something worth considering. Just 22 minutes to go. Just 22 minutes to go until kickoff. So. So. So that's the situation now, folks. Eight seven six four two two seven eight seven six. Who will Jamaica face if they win tonight? If they win tonight, Damien, then they will face... Well... The United States. Simple as that. You know? If they win tonight, then they face... The United States. Tough game, but... One step at a time, one step at a time. You never know. You never know, Damon. But a lot still to be worked upon. Of another 90 minutes to go until kickoff. Let's see what you guys are saying also in the chat. Do let us know your thoughts, your predictions, guys. Go ahead and vote in the poll. Yeah, hey guys, go and vote in the poll. Let's see what you guys are saying. All right. And smash the like button, guys. Come on, guys. Smash the like button. All right. 100 likes. Let's go. Smash the like button, guys. Let's go. Smash the like button, guys. Over. 50 of you and not 50 likes. Come on, guys. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Let's go. So bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right. This is an interesting one. All right. In the poll, 87% of Jamaica win in 90 minutes, 10% of Jamaica win on penalties, and 1% of Jamaica convincing win. Interesting, 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 interesting. Simon, what's the deal with Dylan Barnes? Yeah, there was an opportunity over in Austria, but it just didn't quite materialize. Now, He's still somebody that's looking for club, but it has to be a club where you know he's getting opportunities. But if he's playing in the tenth tier of, of English football, is he deserving of a call up? Not in my eyes. Not necessarily in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? So that's personally how I feel about the, the situation. So but yeah, that's the mantle. That's that's what we're, we're living with, you know. 
So just gotta press forward. Damon Williams says quite simple. No red card tonight. Yeah, no red card tonight. Jamaica wins. No red card tonight. Jamaica wins. Simply put, simply put. You know, Jamaica wins. If that's the case. <laughs> so that's where we are, folks. That is the situation. <laughs> Where can you watch the game? You can watch the game on Concuff's YouTube channel. You can watch the game on Concuff's YouTube channel. All right, guys. Concuff, Concuff's YouTube channel. That's where you can watch the game. Concuff's YouTube channel. All right. So that's something for you guys to sink in and bear in mind. Concacuff's YouTube channel. That is where you can watch the game. All right. So you can make a note of that. And then the plan forward from there. All right. So let that sink in. Concacuff's. KS Sports TV says, a big up, Simon, what time is the match? The time of the match is at 8 o'clock Jamaica time, which is in exactly 16 minutes from now. So, yeah. So yeah, Myra also says, I pray to the Almighty that I get to see the team full potential with all 11 players. That's a good way to put, look at it, Myra. Yeah, I pray that the team does their best. Absolutely. Absolutely that they do their best. 100%. 150%. You know, that is what I want to see. That's what I desire as well, you know, so. That's what I want. So yeah, there is a easier step. All right, where can you watch the game? All right, so this is what you guys do. Go into Google Play Store and then download Express VPN. Simple steps. So yeah. How are you guys watching? Everybody in the chat, let me know where are you guys watching the game from? Kingston, Mobe, Flankers, Bay Farm, Weymouth, Philly, New York, New Jersey, Miami. Sunrise. Where are you guys watching it from? Seven forty seven. Wow, wow, wow. 7.47 now, folks. <clears throat> We're not too long. 
not too long until kickoff. Kickoff is right around the corner. Right around the corner. Still a lot to <clears throat> look at, you know. So, 11. You guys thought about the 11. You can let us know how you feel about that. But yeah, it's a massive test. A very, very important test. And that's where we are. Yes, Omari, 8 o'clock Jamaica time. So that's another 12, 11 minutes from now. Green Bay. Okay, Green Bay, Wisconsin. What? Yep, Jamaicans in Green Bay. Is what you're saying to me? Look at that. Jamaicans in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Look at that. You're all the way not. All the way not. My word. You're all the way north. Hmm. You're close to Minnesota. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Eight o'clock kickoff. <clears throat> Eight o'clock kickoff. Yep, which coach on the lines? <laughs> RR, is that Romoy Reed? Does RR stand for Romoy Reed? So, you guys ready, folks? Where can I watch the game? CONCACUF's YouTube channel. You can watch the game on CONCACUF's YouTube channel. All right? You can watch the game on CONCACUF's YouTube channel. Now, Ira says I'm driving, but yes. <laughs> we shall see, my friend. We shall see. We shall see. We'll get ourselves a really, really good game on our hands. I'm surprised that Guatemala has a home game and the stadium is not filled. You look at the stands and you see, where are the fans? Stadium is scanty, extremely scanty. <clears throat> this is a chance for Guatemala. Two wins away to go to an under-17 World Cup and you don't support your home team? Very, very bizarre, you know? Very, very shocking for me, to be honest with you. Very, very shocking. So... I expected more, much more. But we keep on going, we keep pressing on. <clears throat> you say you're driving right now? Okay, all right. The game is on the 2B up. What is the 2B up?
So yeah. Eighty verse Cuba. That's at eight o'clock. Eighty verse Cuba is at eight o'clock. And the teams are walking out onto the field now. Jamaica is wearing black this evening. It's the host nation against the number one team within the Caribbean. A chance for one of these two teams to go to the last eight of the competition. One step further towards a ticket to Peru. A grand opportunity for both teams to hold their heads up high. A grand opportunity to show that they are no longer sleeping minnows, sleeping giants, sleeping foes of CONCACAF. Guatemalan football might have been dormant for the last few years, but they're looking to rise up once again. And the song that was sung 25 years ago all across Jamaica, Rise Up, is hoping to be turned on all the radio stations, all the YouTube stations once more tonight as the under-17 reggae boys battles Guatemala in the CONCACAF under-17 championship. The host nation against the best of the Caribbean. Why is and Mexico not in the same bracket of a youth tournament? Seedings, seedings. Black jerseys, yep, black jersey, Jamaican anthem is being played. Jemani Bell knows the words, so does Ashton. You must sing it loud and proud. Irene, could I use a little help? But you might go on, go on through, sing through. Jordan, Jordan, know the words too. Yep, that's true, that's true. Molly Robinson, I smile and I sing it, you know. Asham Bobart, I have him head down. Malika Molina knows the words. Dad is from Puerto Rico. His mom is from Jamaica. Adrian Reed Jr. knows the words quite well. Joshua Graham from South Florida knows it quite well. So is Ahir Dixon from Mount Pleasant Academy. So, yeah. That's where we are. So, for Jamaica's fourth game in literally... Eight days. Yeah. Here we are, folks. Now, Guatemala will have their Nantana Anshan right now. These uniforms are terrible, nothing like a Jamaica team. Uh, I like the away kids, to be honest with you. I like the away kids. Would you look at that? Guatemala has a black player. They don't, you don't find that very often. You find that in Panama and Costa Rica and Honduras, but El Salvador. Guatemala, Nicaragua. You don't necessarily see that quite often. But this is a test. Guatemala looks nervous. Very, very much. Gregory Reed, good evening, Simon, and how are you doing? Be a Jamaica win tonight, four. I'm hoping for that as well, my friend. Some people say that Guatemala need porridge. <laughs> Funny. But yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Are you guys ready? All right, both anthems are now done and dusted. Yes, sir, Jamani Bell. I repeat, Jamani Bell, the number 10. So, yes, absolutely. Yeah, number seven is Dylan John. Yep, CONCACUF's YouTube channel. That's right, CONCACUF's YouTube channel. All right, CONCACUF's YouTube channel. Oh, 
Okay. Tonight's referee is from El Salvador, folks. Gilberto Martin is from El Salvador. Would you look at that? Tonight's referee is from El Salvador. Okay. Personally, I've held my view on the matter, and I'm going to maintain how I feel that if a Caribbean team is playing against a Central American team, personally, I feel that it should be a North American referee, so an American or a Canadian ref. If a Caribbean team is playing against a North American team, then I would suggest a Central American ref, a Panamanian, a Costa Rican. If you have a North American team, let's say USA, taking on a Central American team in Costa Rica, then I would suggest a Caribbean ref, a Jamaican, a Bayesian, a Trini, an Aruba, a Curacaoan ref, a Haitian. That's how I feel. That's how I feel it should be in those situations. So that there's 100% neutrality. So, yeah. So that's the situation, folks. No, Bernard says, I don't like the white number still should be yellow. On the back of the shirts you're talking? Mm. Yeah, I understand that. Where can you watch the game? You can watch the game on CONCACAF's YouTube channel. That's right. You can watch the game on CONCACAF's YouTube channel. All right, folks. All right, folks, and we are underway. Jamaica kicking from left to right in this first half. Guatemala kicking from right to left. The stadium is scanty. This is a big under-17, <laughs> under-16 clash. And... The home support, the 12th man, is not there in large numbers, which is a massive, 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 massive surprise. So that has surprised me. Guatemala with the early position. This will be a compelling test. Daniel Johnson, where can you watch the game? CONCACAF's YouTube channel. I repeat, CONCACAF's YouTube channel is where you can watch the game. Travis, you can watch the game on CONCACAF's YouTube channel. CONCACAF's YouTube channel. You're in the Netherlands? CONCACAF's YouTube channel. I repeat, CONCACAF's YouTube channel. That's where you can watch the game, Travis. All right. All right. Here it is. We're in the, the second minute of the game. And Adrian Reed booting the ball up forward. 2 a.m. Okay. 8 p.m. in Jamaica. And Guatemala has a free kick. Well, 35 yards out. No card. But the foul was committed by Barrett. Ronaldo Barrett with the foul. Jamaica against Guatemala. Jamaica has never lost to Guatemala. At the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. Jamaica's last win. The last time they played each other, 2011. Where Jamaica de defeated Guatemala by a goal to nil. So, yeah.
So that's the situation, folks. That's where we are. Guatemala having a player coming off the field to get some medical attention. The Jamaican wall, three-man wall coming back. Conquer Cuffs YouTube channel. Conquer Cuffs YouTube channel. Conquer Cuffs YouTube channel. We're in the fourth minute of the game. Guatemala taking quite a while with this free kick. And they, and they shot right into the wall. And when the guys decide to go long, Guatemala winning back possession, but now the Jamaica having possession in the back. There's Malachi Molina with the ball. Molina looking for Bell. Ball booted away. I know instruction given to Bell to whip the ball in the box as early as possible because Guatemala do take time to settle into games. And if you look at the goals that they've conceded, a lot of them have come before the half an hour mark. So they do take time to settle this Guatemalan team. So if they're able to ensure that they can... Here comes Jamaica. Brought down. Referee. Shoot, shoot, shoot. No. Are we in a car now? All right. 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 Five minutes. Five minutes in the game. Adrian Reed better come up for this corner kick. Adrian Reed better come up for this corner kick, folks. Here we go, folks. Shoot, shoot, Mangatal. Boom. All right. Pass it. You have help. Oh. All right. Just update you guys. Canada is leading Haiti by a goal to nil. Canada is leading Haiti by one goal to nil. Canada leads 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 Haiti by one goal to nil. All right. So that's where we are. What a model look like they have a corner kick that they have to prepare for. It's, it's interesting because, you know, Lynch started Jamaica's game against Trinidad. Grant got that second game, as we know. Lynch played two games in the group stages. And against Costa Rica, it's Grant. And here we are now with Grant getting another game. That's not a penalty ref. Not in a million years is that a penalty. What? What? Penalty to Guatemala. Penalty to Guatemala. Good test for Grant here. Eight minutes in. Come on. 
Come on, Grants. Come on, Grants. Come on, Grants. Yeah! Penalty saved by Grant. Bop, 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 bop. Me telling about Grant. Me telling about Grant. Grant can see a penalty, boy. Me telling about Grant. Me telling about Grant. Grant save a penalty. Grant save a penalty. Grant save a penalty. I tell you, what a save you it. Big save, 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 big save. Choose the right direction. <laughs> Joshua Grant, your hero. But the score is nil all, so still a game. Big save, you. Big save. Romina Grant saved two penalties versus TNT in the shootout. At steps, you know. Ten minutes gone, Jamaica nil. Guatemala nil. Vamos, Joshua Grant. Si, senor. Vamos, Joshua Grant. And again, imagine, imagine a full house of Guatemalan support. Imagine. Imagine. Wow. Big save, Joshua Grant. Big save. Big save. <clears throat> Yeah, my name is a big keeper, you know. Joshua Grant is a big keeper. Into Miami Academy in Florida. His mom is the mayor in the city in Sunrise or Broward County. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep, that's the situation, folks. That's the situation.
Yeah. Not even the opposite, the fun is there. Canada leads by a goal to nil. If you say so, but you'll see. Big C of Joshua Gray. Joshua Grant with a big save, Ray. You know, this game has a very, very feeling of a hot one love. Grant is a big keeper, you know. His mom is governor or mayor in South Florida. Three a.m. in wait. You say you're in um, Egypt or that's where you're ISFD? Egypt. The referee, my friend, is from El Salvador. The referee is from El Salvador. He's from El Salvador, Egypt. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. Um, Egypt, do you need a visa to go to Egypt? Lots of Jamaicans in Broward County, yeah. Quite a lot of Jamaicans in that era, you know. Put my cross in. Yeah. So, yeah. This is where we are now, folks. Nil nil, 17 minutes gone. Nil nil after 17 minutes, folks. E visa visa on arrival. Okay, cool. That's not bad. That's not bad, IS Abdi. I heard, you know, IS Abdi, that the hardest visa to get in the world is the Libya visa, because the Libya visa, they don't offer tourist visas to Libya. They only offer business visas to Libya. And depending on where you are, you would have to go to Egypt, to Italy for the visa, and, you know, get a hotel, accommodation, food, <clears throat> book your flight to Italy, go to the Libyan consulate in Italy, and wait five business days, and then you get your visa for Libya. Yep, a reference, El Salvador. As I said, Ian Campbell, it's a Central American team against a Caribbean team. So for me, it should have been a North American ref, whether Canadian or American. So for me, that's how I examine things. Central America versus Caribbean, North American ref. Caribbean versus Central American, North American ref. So North America versus Central America, Caribbean ref. Central America versus North America, Caribbean Rift. Caribbean versus North America, Central American Rift. So Jamaica play USA, but not mind a Central American Rift. So that's how I feel. Never been there. Okay. All right. But yeah, apparently it's everything when you include flights to Italy and accommodation and the visa itself, you're looking at almost 3,000 US dollars for that visa. 
And of course, I'm including flights, accommodation to Italy. So that's more than the cost of the visa itself. But yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, that's the situation, folks. Pass the ball, turn no. Pass it no. Oh man, that would have been a lovely through ball. That would have been the through ball of the tournament. Very expensive, yeah, indeed. Um, do, 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 do. are there straight flights? I stopped it from. London to Somalia, or you have to stop somewhere and then you'd have a flight to Somalia. So far, Jamaica nil, Guatemala nil, 20 minutes gone. <clears throat> CONCACUFF's YouTube channel, my friend. CONCACUFF's YouTube channel. You can go on CONCACUFF's YouTube channel. You can go on CONCACUFF's YouTube channel. For all the information you need, go on CONCACAF's YouTube channel. Simply put, folks, that's where you need to be. CONCACAF's YouTube channel. All right, folks, that's all that you guys need to do. Go on CONCACAF's YouTube channel for you to get all the information that you need. All right, you girls play at 1050. Shana Matthews said that they're focused. Tottenham versus West Ham tomorrow, so we'll see Mikel Antonio at 11.30. Yeah. More stuff, more stuff, more stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, find the game. Concacuff's YouTube channel. Concacuff's YouTube channel. No, you have to transit via Qatar, Turkey, Kenya, Ethiopia, or UAE. Okay, and I guess the closest to Somalia would be a flight to Qatar or Dubai, and then Doha or Dubai to to Somalia. Or I guess it's if you could go to Nairobi. And then Nairobi, you go up north to Somalia. Yeah, that could work. That's an option. Yes, sir. CONCACAF YouTube channel. Canada leads by two goals to nil over Haiti. Canada leads by two goals to nil over Haiti. And Canada, of course, played the winner of the Costa Rica versus Puerto Rico clash on Sunday. Be a blessing, you will need to download the ESPN app. And after you download the ESPN app, you have to go to ESPN Play. And then you'll be good to go from there. So that's where we are, folks. Can we win back position? All right. Good work, Ashton. Good work, Jamani. Referee. All right. See Mr. Campbell. See Mr. Campbell. This is a good decision. Go, go, go. Some people are saying red card ref, red card ref. <laughs> Yeah. Ethiopia and Kenya are neighboring countries. Okay. All right. Logan, you would need to change your location. 
So you, when you use a beeping, you'd have to change the location for it to work. If that is the method that you're using. <clears throat> Trevor says waste of a free kick. Hmm. Guatemala's has a player by the name of L.V. Ellington. Ecuador's team looks unsettled. They're trying to find a rhythm. They're trying their very best to find a rhythm. Very much so. Turning, making movements. Okay, I'll pause this embarrassing bad man all for win worse match. Yeah, it hasn't the past well the twenty five minutes Jamaica have not been impressive in terms of the in possession, but that is something definitely to be worked upon now. Twenty-seven minutes. Jamaica, nil. Guatemala, nil. in the right hand side. That's for Jamaica. Ooh! Shot from Guatemala. That was a chance from them, you know. That was a chance. Yep, ball is in play. Not closing them now ineffectively. You can watch it on CONCACAF's YouTube channel. Pass the ball, pass the ball now. All right. Hmm, that's a tight offside. That doesn't look offside to me.
just on the golf side at all. Is the referee looking at something? Oh, Grant is down and getting medical attention. But yeah, that's not outside. Water break, water break, water break. Half an hour in, water break, water break. Water break, folks. Water break, folks. Water break. Water break. We're now back with action, folks. We're now back in action. Oh, Guatemala, building up from the back. Guatemala trying to cut inside, but Molina doing his work there. Guatemala has taken the lead, folks. Ah, Guatemala go 1-0 up. For the first time in this tournament, Jamaica doesn't score the first goal of the game. Guatemala score. Thirty two minutes gone. Guatemala one. Jamaica nil. of time guys we can't give up let's see the response that Jamaica will have now yep, this is crucial Free kick. Right. 
high floated ball coming around the back post. Oh, ball going out of play. Ashton Gordon knows what he's going to do. Oh, boy, I tell you. Really, really unfortunate. Mala one, Jamaica nil. That's Guatemala one, Jamaica nil. That's where right now. Jamaica looking for some intent now and in the box, but wasted, wasted chance. Why are you? Thirty six minutes, Guatemala won. Jamaica nil. Guatemala have never defeated Jamaica. At the CONCACAF under seventeen championship. Coming up at 10.50, folks, is Jamaica against the Czech Republic. Jamaica against the Czech Republic. That's the early news there. Coach Huey, first half has not been impressive, to be frank with you. First half has not been impressive at all. A real, real concern. It really, really has been disappointing. Really, really disappointing. Mm. The halftime whistle. Yes, we can get back in the game. No, not tense, but we need to be able to put five passes together. I think that is a, that's a step to to things, but this Guatemala team can be beaten absolutely, one hundred percent. But still, plenty of time. Minute thirty-eight. That's where we are now. Chevron Brown says, Simon, can you do some commentary? With pleasure. With pleasure. Thirty-eight minutes gone. Guatemala one, Jamaica nil. The host nation are ahead and winning a lot of the fouls within the Jamaican half. Guatemala's Ellington. Taking the throw in. What, what adjustments will you play? In terms of adjustments I would make, I'm not going to change the front three. And to be quite frank with you, I wouldn't change the back as well. So 
Jordan Mangatal and you have Ronaldo Barrett. So one of those two adjustments is going to be have to made so that there can be a bit more assertiveness within the middle of the park. And if that is done, then the front three can be able to get an establishment of more possession on the ball. So that is personally what I feel. I just can't see the match side to watch cricket, but England destroying the Kiwis in a few overs. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, Guatemala. I personally would love to see Adrian Reed in the middle. If Adrian Reed is in the middle, that could perhaps push the team a little bit more. Doing that could help. It could really, really help having those individuals there. Yeah. Massive, 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 massive difference. So, so it's so important, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's the situation. Fortieth minute. A lot of long balls. A lot of long balls. Gordon, yes, Ashton Gordon is playing as a number nine. Yes, yes, he is. 41st minute. Jamaica, nil. Guatemala, one. Canada, of course, leading Haiti by two goals to nil. Again, that's right. That's leading Haiti by two goals to nil. What's happening there, folks? Jamaica is a free kick. Watson was brought down. Great opportunity there. So this is the chance. A free kick for Jamaica. About 25 yards out. Gordon is behind the ball, and so is Ronaldo Bennett. I don't think they're going to go for glory from the kick, but it could chip the ball into a very, very dangerous area. Oof. Three that are not having a good end. That's Malik Robinson. Yeah. Room for improvement for him. So he has work to do. Adrian Reed decides to take a long throw. Morgan's inside the Guatemalan half. Guatemala wins a free kick just outside of the center circle. I think White can get an opportunity in the second half. It's a possibility that it could work. He doesn't make my 11, but definitely one of the subs in the second half that could make an impact for sure. So I look forward to that. 
really much. Pass the ball. All right. Mr. Referee. Freedom says we need some subs. The youth them boots slippery, hold them a slide. So, yeah, Guatemala has been creating a lot of fouls. Jim Ricketts, no cards, no cards as yet. 44th minute, Jamaica won, Jamaica nil, Guadeloupe won, Guatemala won. Jamaica nil, Guatemala won. There's time, there's time though. Well curved in, headed out by the Guatemalan defense. We look forward to how much stoppages to complete this first half, and Jamaica loses possession, and they'll win it back by virtue of a throw-in. Very, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing, my friend. The performance has been very disappointing. Very disappointing. Ball chipped in, brought down, switched over. Can Gordon get to it? A pass comes in. Oh, wow. Yeah, that pass could have connected to Watson. That had 1-1 one, one all over it. But it's three minutes. That's right, three minutes of stoppage time to end this first half. That's three minutes of stoppage time to end this first half. Molina keeps it in. He wins a throw. He wins a throw. Yeah, Elva Ellington has been doing a good job for Guatemala. One player with some Jamaican heritage. <laughs> and we'll have some medical attention for Guatemalan player and also for a Jamaican player as well. Yep, so Malik Robinson, Buckheads. So they're getting some medical attention now. like there's going to be a decision to end this first half quite soon. Damon Hine to Simon, we have better talent abroad. I watch your channel and you did a list of players in quality academies in England that could have agreed to help the team. Yes, Mr. Hines, you're, you're preaching to the choir in this instance, so I'm fully aware of the talent that exists. Fully, fully, fully talent. And that's the whistle, folks. And that signals the end of the first half. Guatemala 1, Jamaica 0. That's the end of the first half. Folks, let us know your thoughts in the comments in relation to first half, your reactions to the first half. And we'll be back in just a few moments with first half reactions. Stay with us in just a moment.
Yes, yes. All right. First half action is done and dusted. So let's hear what you guys have to say. Let's hear what you guys have to say in, in relation to the reactions of the first half. Dr. Joyful says, Guatemala, me say. You're from Guatemala, Dr. Joyful? Where are you from? Which country were you born in? Ronnie M90 says, not just England. Yep, you're right. Uh, highlighted some players that are in the Netherlands. One that is in Norway right now. So Netherlands, Norway, England. Netherlands, as we may mention about already. We know about the States and Canada as well. So, yeah. The 14. 14? You mean 11? I'm sure you meant 11. 14? No. I don't think the, the 11 needs to be changed. Honestly? No. I wouldn't say that. I would say... I would honestly say that... Probably the midfield. But apart from that, I personally am in a, a big agreement that you know, the, the first half was disappointing. And there are some elements of it that definitely need some fine tuning. So, yeah. Really, really disappointing. Half time. How is everybody feeling? How is everybody feeling? Eager to hear what, what you guys have to say. You know? Hmm. But this is the situation that we have right now. DJ Veneto, what's going on, bro? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, tough, tough one, but certainly a chance to press forward, you know? Another second half to be played. And 45 minutes to save and keep the dream of Peru alive. You guys know the longest unbeaten runs by English managers in the Premier League. Frank Frank Clark of Nottingham Forest in '95. Yeah. Eddie Howe, seventeen points in twenty twenty three. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Long ball is for quarterbacks. Central midfielders can play long balls as well, but as you know, you have to be accurate with it. I'm not saying that long ball is something that should be avoided. Not at all. What I'm saying is that there's a time and place for everything, Mr. Elliott. Time and place for everything for that to be utilized. Time and place for everything. So that, that could be utilized within the game itself. So what are the options? What are the options available in relation to on the bench? What are the options? Well, so there's a few options in particular. You have Nicholas Simmons that is on the bench. You have John that is on the bench as well. You have Cohen. You have Brandon Bent. You have White. You have Swaby. Of course, Lynch. I don't think we're going to see Lynch today. This might be the game for Simmons. It might be the same game where Simmons really hasn't played a minute in the tournament, but what a test it would be. 45 minutes, you go out there. And that's that. So 
So we keep on going. The long ball, the, the ball retention, those are significant elements that need work. And it needs to be worked upon right away. Right away, you know? So, something for us to look forward to. So that's where we are. That's where we are, folks. Yeah, I saw the goal. I saw the goal. Very good. It was a good goal. You know, it was a really good goal. So, Which make us time to score now. Matthew Hibbert says Dylan John. Yeah, Dylan John can, can have an impact, certainly. He's somebody that can come in. And, and as the whistle blows, yeah. You just be on full blast as in go, 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 you know? I definitely see that happening. So, hopefully, we get to see him on the field. How's everybody else feeling? Nervous? Disappointed? How is everybody doing? So, yeah. Foreign exchange chart. The stats you're talking about. One shot for Jamaica, five shots for Guatemala. Jamaica has not a shot on target just yet. Possession in favor of Guatemala. Passing accuracy, 54%, so definitely something to be worked upon. So every two passes Jamaica attempts, one is, is accurate of those two. Just a shade over. Corners. On corner. Three offsides. No yellow cards. No red cards to either team. So that's where we are now. So. So that's where we are. So if you look at the pairings, Mexico, Nicaragua, they play the win of the El Salvador Trinidad game. Could be Trinidad. Panama, Cuba versus Honduras, Bermuda. Honduras, Panama. Costa Rica, Puerto Rico versus Canada or Haiti. Costa Rica, Canada. USA versus Jamaica or Guatemala. Big games. Very, very big games that lie ahead, you know. Yep, very, very big games. Just a reminder, folks, at 10.50, Ray Girls against the Czech Republic. And on Ash Wednesday, it is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep. Jamaica against Australia. That comes your way on Ash Wednesday. So that's for us to prepare for.
That is interesting. I was not aware about that. Huh. Interesting. All right, the second half is about to commence, folks. Go ahead and subscribe, folks, to Reggae Boys Commentary. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. All right. And we're underway in the second half. So the Jamaicans now kicking from right to left in the second half, similarly to what they did in the Costa Rica encounter. Adrian Reed getting prepared to take one of his long throws. getting into dangerous areas all right so at least there's a little bit more bite to jamaica trying to win back the ball in these situations Closing down Guatemala when they're on the ball, giving them very, very little time to, to, to either make a pass, forcing them to kick long, and possession comes back to the Jamaican team. Is the flag up? Oh. That's the situation now, folks. <coughs> Seven minutes, Guatemala one, Jamaica nil. That is true, that is true, that is true, that is true. Jamaica knows it's now or never. It is now or never. Now the time. Forty eight minutes, forty nine now. Jamaica's forty one minutes to save the campaign. Come on, Grant. Good work. Release the ball. Quick start. That's better. That's better. But still. Jamaica decides to go along. over to the right hand side acres of space to work with watch it over jamaica still regain in position no changes made for jamaica ball on the right ball comes in headed down <sighs> certainly bell 
that time and space to bring it down. But that's better from Jamaica. Absolutely better putting the ball into dangerous positions, putting crosses in earlier, being quicker to every decision that they're making. That's the sort of intensity that you want to see throughout the course of this second half. You know, that's definitely that's what's needed. Simon Jamaica needs to get rid of four three three four match midfield loses the ball and no it, well it's actually a three four three so it's it's a two player midfield with Barrett and Mangatal so if you're saying improve the two man midfield to a three man midfield then I could say okay who will have a moment of whisper now huh now whisper is not eligible to play for this team. Had legs are affecting four four games in in eight days. Mm. That is correct. That is correct. Seven players. Watson, Bell, Mangatal, Dixon, Reed. That's five. Molina six. Oh, Grant. Malik Robinson. I take a chance. Out, out, out. Good, good, good. Don't kick it out. Go, 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 go. Fifty one minutes, Jamaica Nail Guatemala one. So that's where we are. Jamaica down the Malachi Molina puts in a cross. All right. Pass, 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 pass again. One touch, guys, one touch. Referee, Mr. Referee, that's a foul. Bell brought down. Bell brought down. Free kick just outside the box. This actually is a dangerous, dangerous area. If it can be on target, then we're in business. 55 minutes. We prefer the ball a little bit centrally, but Jamaica won, Guatemala won, 55 minutes played.
what a goal. The goal was coming. The goal was coming. And there you have it, folks. Big goal. Back in business. Sí, que golazo. Que golazo para el equipo. Maica, Maica, uno. Guatemala, una. Ahora para el disparo. Gol. Gol, 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 gol. De Jamaica. He plays for JC, Jamaica College. Is it Cavalier as well? Yeah. Cavalier. Now Jamaica has the momentum. There's still half an hour to play. Still half an hour to play. 1-1 one, one Coco, full basket. <laughs> cover him, cover him, cover him, cover him up. All right, all right, all right. Good work. Need an next goal in on my side. Need an next goal. Need an next goal. Need an next goal. So it's going really well, my side. It's going really well. <clears throat> one, one. Jamaica uno ahora. Sí, equipo Jamaica ahora. Jamaica uno. Adrian Reed with a long throw. Shoot no boy. Oh, straight to the goalkeeper. That's nice. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. <coughs> That's better. Ashton with the shot. That's better. Good try. Good try. <clears throat> well, folks, I said it earlier, we just might, just might have a penalty shootout on our hands. Close him down, close him down, close him down. All right. Fifty nine minutes. Simon, who has the better goalkeeper? Uh, Jamaica's goalkeeper is a better one. Grant saves penalties. So, so yeah. I prefer to score one more and win the game. That's my preference. But Grant, I back him any day of the week to save penalties. I really, really do. So, we're in for a treat.
Yeah. So that's the situation, folks. That's the situation. <clears throat> 60 minutes Jamaica 1 Guatemala 1 and we know the situation Jamaica uh, and the first time in this tournament that we conceded a goal before the 78th minute we have to be mindful of that time frame as well to ensure that games are closed down in that period of the game Run it down, run it down. We can't catch it. That's right. I'm not fast like you. Good work. Bolt Barrett. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Okay, Guatemala's making changes as it relates to Jamaica. No changes at this point. I don't expect one right now. But Bill has to take a penalty, you know. For me, Bill has to take one. Sixty-two minutes gone. Oh, that's a deflection. Yeah, that was a deflection. So it's going to be a corner kick for Guatemala. Just a reminder as well, the other games in the day, Guatemala, Nicaragua fell 6-0 to Mexico. The Dominican Republic fell 7-0 to the United States. In the other game on the day, right now you have Canada, leading Haiti right now by two goals to nil. So that's where we are right now, folks. <clears throat> Coming up at 10.50, it's the Reggae Girls against Czech Republic. Out, 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 out. <clears throat> Jamaica one, Guatemala one. All right, smash the like button, guys. Smash the like button. Let's get to 100 likes. Smash the like button right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Smash the like button, folks. Let's hear what you guys have to say. No changes yet from Jamaica. Click. Up, 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 control. Pass, all right. 
lay it off again. Mm. Good interception. One more pass. Jordan. <clears throat> Jamaica has been really good from set pieces. <laughs> very, very good from set pieces, you know. That's for sure. Very, very good from set pieces. And Guatemala and Keeper being put to the test. Oh, please. Don't tell me that Carlos is right. Please, please, please. Okay. Good strike. Good strike. Good strike. Need to go do two footed. Yeah, the thing with Malachi Molino is heavily. Fancied at FC Dallas. Cross comes in. Oh, he headed out by the Guatemalan defense. Let's see what the Guatemalan do with possession as they enter into the Jamaican half. Jamaica closing down, down a little bit better. Will they boot out the ball? No. Adrian Reed says, Where are you going? Adrian Reed says, I got this. Where are you going? Ball, you know. But he loses possession. I have to win it back now, Adrian. Out. <sighs> the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. 68 minutes. Alrighty, here we go, here we go, here we go. Coach needs to make some subs. That's what some people are saying in the comments section. Out. Save. Oh, tipped onto the bar and over. Grant with a brilliant save there. 68 minutes. Great save. All right, cool. Good save, good save. Come on, head it out. This is the portion of the game. This is the 68th minute. Out, out, out. Good work. No adjustments yet being made by Jamaica. <clears throat> um, no, not QPR Reading. Can I Boyce Clark? Yeah, can I Boyce Clark? We will see more of him in the future for sure. We'll definitely see more of them in national colors moving forward. So we can so that's something that you can bear in mind for sure. We look forward to him. All right. So yeah.
Ashton Gordon pushing forward with the ball, bringing the team up. Lose his possession, perhaps could have gone with it to the corner flag, you know. Out. I broke long time no see, man. You should comment more. Match is so exciting. Extra time here, so I know. Straight pens. I believe it's going to be straight pens. I believe it's going to be straight pens. Long night ahead of us. We're in a minute 70 now. That's 20 more minutes to go. Jamaica has never lost to Guatemala at a CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. Yeah. Let's put this to bed. No lottery. No lottery. Yeah, that would be the preference for sure. That would be the preference, absolutely. 100% there. Yes, but Mr. Palmer, long time. No, no. During COVID 2020, 2021, we heard so much of you in the comments, man. I'll be commenting more often just because my team not doing well. Like off season for me. All right, cool, cool. Uh, Grant is organizing things. No yellow card, no red card. Let's ensure we keep it that way. And if I'm being honest with you guys, in terms of reinforcements off the bench, I don't see three subs being made from a Jamaican standpoint. But we'll see. I just don't see three changes being made, you know? That's how I feel about it. Oh, we shall see. Free kick for Guatemala, seventy three minutes. Short one, booted high into the air, headed out, still bobbling, now booted forward, Ashton, oh, I saw the intent, but needs to be brought down, it hasn't been brought down yet, now an opportunity, that wasn't necessary to boot it high in the air again, ah, oh, man, it's like volleyball the past 30 seconds. <clears throat> Anderson, you can watch the match on da, 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 da. Conga Cup's YouTube channel. All right, so Bell is coming off. Bell comes off. And Jason White comes on. Was at work, bro. I'm now unemployed again. You mean you're at work 2020 to 2021? Oh. <laughs> I fully get you. Man, say hashtag on oh, boy. Oh, boy. So that so Bell won't be taking a penalty in the shootout. Seventy five minutes.
15 minutes to go, folks. 15 minutes to go. Here we go. 15 minutes to go. Fifteen minutes to go. <clears throat> it's gonna be tight. Ryan Brown, where can you find the match to watch? Concacaf's YouTube channel. Concacaf's YouTube channel. Concacaf's YouTube channel. That's where. Alrighty. Out, 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 out. Jesus, that touch heavy. Boss. This is the crucial stage of the game. No, 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 no. Miscommunication. Jeez, man, you can't do that. You see Grant coming. No man, I got some I got two two one up. Uh, no, 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 no. Skip all. Mm. That wasn't meant to be. That wasn't meant to be. That was never supposed to happen. That was never supposed to happen because as a centre half, you see the goalkeeper coming. And in that situation, you have to be stronger with the head up. Another change we made. Malik Robinson comes off. Cuba still up. Canada still up 2 0. Alright. Dustin Cohen comes on for Malik Robinson. Less than 13 minutes to go. Ten minutes. Ten minutes to save the campaign. <clears throat> Ten minutes 
to save the campaign. This is just <sighs> Guatemala 2, Jamaica 1, 81st minute. Another change being made by Jamaica. Barrett comes off. Another change being made as Dylan John comes on. That's the third roll of the dice. McNabb, Long Ball FC, Ludwig. We have, to, we have time, guys. We have time. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's go. There's time. There's time. There's time. Come on, boys. Let's go. Malik Mills. Oh, man. I broke. This Guatemala team is beatable. Absolutely beatable, my friend. 150%. <sighs> Seven minutes to go. Seven minutes to save the campaign. <clears throat> Clock is ticking. Charlie Cry says, where can we get a link? CONCACAF's YouTube channel. I repeat, CONCACAF YouTube channel. <coughs> Just a few minutes remain. Jamaica still have 10 of 11 players on the field, and let's keep it that way. 86 minutes. Oh, yeah. All right. Adrian Reed goes long. All right. Four, four men in the box. 
All right. There's a chance. Shoot! Oh, saved by the Guatemala goalkeeper. All right, five minutes to go plus stoppages. All went over everybody. Yeah, good try. Okay, good try. Now Guatemala taking their sweet time. Taking all the time in the world. Says and count for two passes. They have been working on it. They're working on it. It's been worked upon. Eighty-seven minutes. Eighty-seven minutes. <clears throat> That's not a penalty. Out. Guatemala players rolling over, rolling over, rolling over. Ellington is still on the ground, being told to get up. Or else he would get a yellow card. Minute number 88 now. We are truly down to the wire now. This is crunch time. Truly is crunch time, you know? So, yeah. Alright, so coach on. Yeah. Answer the wire. Yeah, I saw that with Hercules Gomez saying Jamaica being one of the three. They have Jamaica, Costa Rica, and El Salvador. I said Jamaica, Costa Rica, Panama at this stage. So that's how I feel about it.
Three minutes of stoppage time, folks. Three minutes of stoppage time to end this game. Three minutes of stoppage time. Three minutes for Jamaica to save their hopes. So, here we go. Three minutes, folks, three minutes. Ah, offside. Two minutes left, two minutes left. Two minutes to try and get an equalizer. seconds, 90 seconds left for Jamaica. All right, up, 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 up. It's now or never, folks. Let's go. Let's go. Have to, have to press it on the gas. This is important. The time is left is limited. Click on This is it. This is the last chance. This is the last chance. Mr. Referee. <coughs> That's it. Final score. Jamaica one. Guatemala nil. Final score, folks. It's Jamaica 1, Guatemala 2. Again, the, <coughs> the round of 16 hurdle, just like four years ago. And that ends the campaign. I see what you're saying. Look, there's some great things of positives to, to talk about, not only just the goalkeeper, and I'll get to that in a few. In my opinion, we need to go back to fundamental standard boring 442 and play a stick with the systems we're tuning up to the pitch. This is a coaching issue. 442 is something that was, was worked upon as well. But let's talk about the positives. Two young, 
brilliant goalkeepers. The defense, I hear Dixon, one for the future. Adrian Reed Jr., supreme talent. Malachi Molina at right back. He's going to be playing in the MLS. If not this year, then next year. All right? Brandon Bent, he's going to progress through into Miami's academy quite soon. Jamani Bell, an absolute gem. Absolute gem, Jamani Bell is. Orion Watson, an absolute menace in the, in the opposition. Ashton Gordon, we can't lose him. We can't lose him at all. So those are things that we need to be mindful of and worry about those individuals. <sighs> For the first time in the history of the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship, Guatemala has defeated Jamaica. And it will be the host nation. It will be the host nation that takes on the United States. Really, really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate, folks. But we have to now turn our attention now towards the other factor. And you guys know what that is in particular. Yeah. That's the reggae girls. Yep, the reggae girls. That's where we are, folks. Hmm. So, final score. Really, really fortunate. Final score, Jamaica one, Guatemala nil. This result eliminates Jamaica from the CONCACAF U-17 Championship. Disappointing, I tell you. Really disappointing. Really disappointing. But that's that. Nah. <clears throat> yeah, guys, so stick around. We'll be going live in another 15 minutes or so for Jamaica against Czech Republic. Stay with us. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. All right, guys, stay tuned for more. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right? This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this video in particular. But let me give you an update on a channel called Sports City. Yes, Sports City. It is a channel dedicated to everything related to Jamaican sports. Football, cricket, athletics, netball, rugby league, rugby union, tennis, lacrosse, swimming, 
you name it, we got it on Sports City. And what is the channel designed to do? It is designed to highlight Jamaican talents across all of those sporting disciplines. If you're a Jamaican and you're playing that sport, then we got you covered on Sports City. So it's quite simple, guys. Hit the subscribe button to Sports City right now.